folks, Thirsty Panda here, and welcome to the uh, Panda Den. Uh, we're going to be checking out a beer from uh, Dahrad out of uh, Burn. I don't even know if you can read that. Oh my goodness! There we go. Anyway, this is their white. It's a uh, Belgian-style uh, wheat ale. Now, when we think of Belgian beers, what do we think of? Stella Artois. Stella. However, that's far from Belgian beer. I mean, it is Belgian beer, don't get me wrong, that is Belgian beer, but there's no one Belgian style of beer. The Belgians make absolutely everything. They, uh, they make everything from a lambic, which is traditionally brewed in open vats, and bubbly and fermenty in the open, to wild yeast uh, ales where Hey, it's like whatever happens happens, right? That's kind of the deal with some uh, wild uh, wild yeast. They they take uh, you know fruits or what have you, and they use the yeast from that, and away they go, all the way down to something like Stella Artois, which is a real easy drinking uh, beverage. So we're gonna try this out. I've had their uh, another one of their beverages, and. Uh, uh, it was very powerful, and I believe there's a video for that uh, on uh, thirstypanda.ca or on uh, my YouTube channel, which is linked. Uh, there's a Panda Vision link on there. So let's crack this open and see what we got. Love the love the cap. Let me see that. You cap lovers out there. There we go. Anyway, they've got actually this sign outside there their tasting uh, room there. It's kind of cool. Really neat place. I went there and uh, there was actually a running club meeting there. You're starting to see this. These tastings rooms are just becoming these central points for, for clubs and activities. I know R&B Brewing do a yoga class uh, out of their uh, their tasting room over there in, uh, uh, in the Brewery Creek area. Anywho, let's, uh, let's, let's give it a pour. Oh yeah. Definitely an unfiltered wheat beverage. Look at that. It's kind of what you're expecting. It's supposed to be light and bubbly. Typically, you get the the, the larger bubbles out of a out of a wheat uh, ale because it usually doesn't have as much of the proteins that you get uh, out of uh, out of a, a typical uh, uh, barley barley malt. The uh, wheat malts uh, don't have the same high level of protein, so the heads tend to be uh, not as uh, as fluffy. This one isn't too bad. I think they, they do a blend of different uh, a different um, malt into the into this beer. So let's give her a snipper. Oh, wow! Very yeasty. Get a bit of the the, the ting the the the. the Mm. Yeah, this is going to be a good weed ale, I can tell you. They're using some really cool hops in this. Very light, bubbly, real easy drinking, boy, really easy drinking. Yeah, this is nice, it's got a little bit of a little floral, uh, a little bit of floralness to it. Essence. Real light hop. You kind of get feel. You feel the wheat coming through. You really feel that coming through. Mm, it's kind of like a, kind of like a bready sort of, a, sort of a sensation to it. Yeah, it's a nice light beverage. Uh, you know, if you're if you're new to the craft beer uh, game and you really want to try something out that's light and refreshing and and tasty this is it now this is winter okay like i'm in the i'm in the middle of a soccer season here or football sorry football season so this is a good sunday sunday saturday game kickoff saturday morning kickoff uh, this will go quite nicely for that uh, good beverage nice light tasty yeah full marks on this bad boy full marks no uh, no aftertaste uh, no unpleasant. You could you you could have this quite nicely with some sushi or pretty much any food whatsoever. Yeah, Dagrad, Dagrad. There we 
your white. Uh, pull her back. You can't see that. No, the lights are too bright. Anyway, you can read more about it on uh, on my blog anyway. So uh, yeah, cheers. Stay thirsty, my friends. Panda always. Mm. Yeah, good job.